Wardell was one of the first players to make the leap from CSGO to Valorant, and he quickly established himself at the top of the burgeoning future Earth scene. As one of the what-if stories of CSGO, people were excited to see what Wardell could do when he dropped his AWP for an OP full-time. What followed was a terrifying revelation for professional Valorant players everywhere. Wardell had his AWP, and the ability to improve on his incredible movement from CSGO with the High Flyer Jet. Open your mouths! As one of the early players of Valorant, Wardell quickly discovered that the combination of Jet and the Operator was one of the strongest in the game, and he's built his career on it with an 88% pick rate and 75% win rate on the Korean Airbender. One enemy remaining. Yeah! Wardell never reached the top of CSGO, but quickly became feared in Valorant. His play often speaks for itself. And he doesn't just slay with the operator. His incredible game sense and movement makes Jet a deadly weapon in any round. Wardell spent so much time in the early days of Valorant playing Jet that his entire playstyle now revolves around the agent. He takes aggressive, ostentatious fights better than anyone, and is able to save himself if he gets into trouble with his quick thinking and Jet's mobility. He'll be holding Hookah by himself, he's able to take down two, gets the spike. So now the one-on-one -on -one peaks, but Wardell, Op Academy is here, and look at this, he's looking for more, he's got the quad, he's looking for the ace. Wardell, he's hungry, he wants this. You can see he's pushing, he hears it, he gets the ace and he's able to land it in the head with the blade storm. To say Wardell is good at Jet doesn't quite cut it. He has a 1.51 KD, puts up 153.8 ADR, and has a mind-boggling 256 ACS. Those are averages across 168 maps. 146, coming behind you, 146. One, One enemy remaining. One Wardell makes the most of every single ability, beautifully stringing updrafts and tailwinds together, along with picture-perfect cloudbursts. He has mastered the agent better than anyone in the world, and when it comes to his ultimate use, he has scary accuracy. At VCT challenges, he put Gen G to the sword with his knives. Wardell opens the round in B main, pushing well beyond the rest of his team to try and look for the opening pick alongside Hunter's Fury. The Jet Star then regroups of his team, and when Mikhail gets distracted by another player, Wardell has the opportunity to start feasting. He soars up high from A main and finds GMD with the daggers over the wall, pinning Gen G into their retake with his mobility and deadly accuracy. From there, Wardell runs through the smokes and dispatches Sean and Huynh, completing his ace with stunning ease. That was just one round, but Genji will run ragged by Wardell for the entire map. Through the dark cover, how does he find one? Wardell gets one more, and now he's got the angle locked up, him and Hayes combining! Last player left alive is Mikhail, and no chance to get away from the sights of Wardell for three! Wardell's hyper-aggressive sniping has defined one of the most common playstyles in Valorant with the Operator. In the early days of Valorant, people were stuck in a rut of being too defensive with the op. Wardell challenged the thinking that Sage was the best agent to hold the big gun, and changed the game, especially in North America. Two. I'm pushing to be mad, they're gonna go if they have to. Three. When Wardell truly pops off like this, it shows exactly why he defined what it means to play Jet and the op in Valorant. Wardell's skill with Jet is undeniable, but is there anyone that you think does it better? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Deserto for much more Valorant esports content. Otherwise, as ever, thank you for watching.